All right, let's go back to the Tom Brady roast because this is absolutely the gift that just keeps on giving. We can't stop talking about it. I watched it back today. I watched it back as well, which is perfect to do winners and losers. We watched the film. I mean, look, honestly, re-watching it, I have the same winners and losers. It, it actually, like, I actually doubled down on how I felt. I felt I like it. So I left the first time I watched it, the night of the roast, yeah. I, I left feeling like, Bill Belichick, in a lot of ways, stole the show mm-hmm. because I, I think I was looking at this in a in a totality sense. The roast was great. He was funny. He was terrific. I thought he took it kind of easy on Tom actually, and just ripped everyone else. Not that he didn't get some shots in on Tom, but compared to what the hell everyone else was doing, Bill Belichick was elementary school. Okay, but you know, rewatching it. I love the human aspect now of Belichick at the Rose, Pat McAfee doing all the things he's doing. I actually think Julian Edelman stole the show, man. Oh, okay. I really do. Like I, I felt I, I I left the first night I watched it feeling like Julian Edelman did great, but Belichick was a star. Now I'm flip flopping. Belichick was great. Edelman stole the show. I mean the Foxborough High Football coach at Bill. That shot was fantastic. The it only was job fan- you could get. It was fantastic, bro. Watching it back, like I, I was more impressed with Julian Edelman. So those are my winners, Bill and Jules. I'm just flip flopping who stole the night. I'm going Jules here. You said the keyword with Bill Belichick: human. Yeah, smiling. Taking Laughing. jokes. You see him standing up and applauding. Like the appreciation for what Peyton Manning did, what the jokes were that were coming his way. And he was laughing at himself. Right. Because time and time, Drew Bledsoe coming out and saying, he was at great least when too. I got fired, someone else wanted me. Drew Bledsoe came out hammering. He was great. I have Bill Belichick as a winner. I got to give it, I mean, you got to give it a, like, it, this just sounds so cheesy. <laughs> Netflix won. Oh. A streamer went live and gave you appointment television that right. isn't live sports. And they found the perfect night to do it. Right. What else was on last night? Right. Nothing. No NBA. No NHL. Met Gala was, is Monday night, right? Yeah. That or, yeah, Monday night. Like, they knew what they were doing when they laid this whole thing out. Right. Found that perfect window, and it was sports-centered. Smart. They brought this cast on. But seriously, Kevin Hart, man, the way he hosted that. Killed it. He's and just a great host. He is. He took right? the jokes the right way. Yeah. Sitting next to Gronk is even funny. That had to be on purpose because Kevin Hart looks like a legitimate child <laughs> next to Gronk. This is coming from a guy that's five foot six. So, like I said, you could roast me any day, bro. I'll take it. But the joke, let me tell you, you got a chance to go eight and nine and all it costs you is your wife and kids. You've got to do what you've got to do. Making the joke of Tom, how did you not realize Giselle was cheating on you with the Kung Fu instructor? Oh. Eight classes a day, and she still had a white belt? Like, oh. oh, my God. So he won, and then also Nikki Glazer. Yeah, she was great. Glazer. Crushed it. Delivery was there, and she's a comedian. I get it. Yeah. But the Tom also lost $30 million in crypto. How Tom, how do you fall for that? Even Gronk was like, me no know that real money. <laughs> Going at Gronk, so I do that. And then you and me spoke about it. I think Sam J, the comedian from Dorchester. Yeah, yeah. That was uh, that her was first cool. ever roast. That was really cool. She crushed it, and she compared Drew Bledsoe's Super Bowl <laughs> ring to her strap-on because she's lesbian and said, just because you wear it doesn't mean it's real. Wild. That's they, wild. They, dude, they, and this is why Netflix won. I didn't know you could do jokes like that. Right. Making jokes politically. About Tom Brady, yep. you know, gay jokes, black jokes, yep. white jokes, Boston jokes. Right. Too black for Boston. We know why you moved. Sam J coming with that. Right. Uh, to me, it did cross the line. Tom Brady going with the 9 11 joke, but comedy's comedy. Gee. Bro, like they went there. Yeah. Like there was dark humor. Yep. Tony Hinchcliffe, well, he came out and Which did. is right right up your alley. It dark, is. They had you at Aaron, dark humor. Aaron Hernandez jokes. Aaron Hernandez like jokes. Like, no one was safe. Those were flowing, bro. So, it, it was just, like, it was awesome. Three hours, way too long. Oh. But it was great. All right, my losers, Kim K. I, <laughs> I, I, listen, I've watched, Booed off the stage. I've watched it twice now. I still don't know why she was there. I mean, hence the booze. You like, don't need her. I, like, what, what are we doing? You have the most popular athlete. One of the most popular athletes in the world. I'm not gonna say he's like Messi, Ronaldo, but like you, American you, athletes. You don't need Kim Kardashian. Yeah, I, you don't need her. And look, Tom she was wasn't great. Funny. Tom was great taking his shot, saying, you know, her, her uh, Kanye's at home watching the kids. She's worried. That yeah, that was, was a good joke, man. So you can't get that joke off if she's not there. But other than that, 
congrats. You were able to get that joke off because why else is she here? She was worthless. I thought her entire being there and all of her speaking parts were dumb. Uh, ben Affleck yeah. seemed miserable and not funny at all. Now, I don't, for some reason. He always looks miserable. Maybe because it wasn't memorable to me. I didn't really remember him even much from the, the original time I watched. When I rewatched, I was like, oh, this is terrible. He and was just ranting, slow, yelling at He was fans. ranting. He seemed miserable, and it slowed it. Look, you just said yep, it was three hours, yep, right? Yep. He slowed the damn party down. Took the air out of the building. It's like when someone gets get on gets on the ox and plays the wrong songs. <laughs> like everyone's dancing, and then someone <laughs> someone gets on there and starts playing slow jams, or like, or we're having a dance party. I'm thinking someone, karaoke. Someone gets yep. on and they play Radiohead, and it's yeah. like, what are we doing here? Well, are we depressed now? What's going on? <laughs> that was Ben Affleck for me, loser. Dude, how, how can you be so miserable? You're dating J-Lo. Like, cheer up. Right. It should have been Matt Damon there instead of Ben Affleck, in my opinion. But that's because me and Matt Damon are boys. You know, we go way oh, back. Oh, I didn't know that. I said Burt Kreischer and Tom Segura are losers yeah. for the same reason. They were both up there. Like, slowed it down? They're good, like, I guess, telling stories. They're not good, like, stand-up comedians. Yeah, and they just took the air out of the building. Yeah. They're like an anchor on a boat brought to a screeching hole. I would say Danny Amendola because Belichick didn't go at his players for their play. Not even Drew. Right. But he came out, Amendola brought up 2014, 200 yards in 16 games. 2016, 243 yards in 14 games. For Randy Moss, that's a decent half. But Belichick went out there because remember Danny Amendola in the 10-part doc. Took shots. Went at him and at him and at him. So you can tell Belichick hates him. Here's my biggest loser of the night, and I I love it. I'm I'm a mean person, man. <laughs> But Robert Kraft is the biggest loser of the night to me. <laughs> a, he wasn't up there on stage sitting with him. You know that ate away at him. I'm cool enough. I'm 97 years old, but I, I text Meek Mill and Lamar Jackson wants oh, to play here. God. And I wear Air Force Ones, right? Uh, and just he goes up there. Belichick doesn't want anything to do with him. Hates him. Belichick. Crapped on his 10-part doc. Sure did. Kevin Hart gets him up there, and Robert Kraft says, this is the greatest coach in the history oh, of the please. game. And then he goes, having Tom Brady and him was the greatest honor. The go- Shut up. <laughs> Get off the stage, old man. Go to bed. You know it's past your bedtime, old man. And like Bel- he took the shot. Belichick, I don't think he even took it. And he was just like looking around like, get me out of here. <laughs> Kevin Hart tried forcing it. I'm just like, dude, <sighs> Robert Kraft, you're a billionaire. You won a bunch of Super Bowls. You're going to be in the Hall of Fame. Just like, you just be old on your own. Just go be old on your I'm own. I'm mean. I'm Jeez. mean. I'm sorry. I, it's just like, I'm watching that. And I'm just like, again, rolling my eyes. Like, all right, enough I already, know. man. Enough. Well, hey, look, in addition to Boston has entered the chat hotline, 617-790-0928, where we want you to leave us voicemails. We also tell you, all show long, tweet at us. Boston has entered the chat is interactive. We need to hear from you. You are our co-host. And the tweets were, of course, flying in, all roast long. Let's get at some of these, George. Hey, look, it was a joke, not an admission. He was saying that he would accept <laughs> $20 million to say anything. So that was in regards Brady to Brady. making the deflate joke. Yeah, he was like, you guys spent it $20 million on lawyers? Just give me $20 million. I would have accepted Bro, it. Bro, I saw so many uh, outlets running with, Brady admits to deflate gate. You guys are morons. Oh, he did it. And I believe it. And this is why Tom Brady did deflate gate. We want to open this up. <laughs> when you make millions, when you make millions – and the life of a city rests in the palm of your hand and how you throw a football, you're going to mess with it. And that's fine. Yeah. Eli Manning does it. He would overinflate the ball. It's like, you're going to do it how you like it. They beat the out of the Colts. And that <laughs> football's had nothing to do with it. They beat the hell out of the Ravens. Yeah. And the football's had nothing to do with it. They're their better team. So that's my... I mean, they went on to win Super Bowls after I'm opening all. the wound uh, on know. Deflake all these years later. Like, Tom Brady did it, but it, there was no... Pr- you couldn't find proof. Yeah. It was the NFL <laughs> make, wanting to... Make he, a lesson out of him. He destroyed the proof. That's why he couldn't find it. More <laughs> tweets were rolling. Smash that <laughs> I cell mean, phone. The proof exactly. was gone. He smashed his cell phone. He did it. You know how they say the proof's in the pudding? Not this time. Uh, not hard to tell. Bill was less than enthusiastic about doing a shot. Kenny, there you my go. boy. Ken Pease. Yep. Love you. Thank yep. you. That's it. Nothing more to say. I love yep. you, Ken. George, I mean, you pretty much said that as he, well. He didn't want to be up there with you, Robert. Yeah. Take a seat, Robert. All right. Was there anyone... Not there you wanted to see. And what athlete do you want to see get roasted now? I said, Matt Damon should have been there instead of should've, Ben Affleck. Yeah, no I doubt. agree. Like, Matt Damon's a funny dude. Touche. Uh, Bill Burr. 
one of my favorite comedians. He's a Boston guy. Yep. And he comes out angry. Like, everything about him. He's just an angry, bald guy. No <laughs> offense to bald people. None taken. Uh, Wes Welker. And I mean, like, Wes Welker, Kentucky Derby Wes Welker, like, tripping acid. Wasted. Yeah. Absolutely annihilated. But Welker hates Belichick. So right. that would have been a good one. I mean, good. So I was just thinking, I'm picturing Welker goes in there just absolutely, whoo, taken away. And I think he'd been great, Rose. I'm shocked that you didn't say the main person. It's Giselle, man. It's all you, bro. That's all you. Giselle. Credit where credit's due. Listen, I believe in love, okay? You can make fun of my bald head all you want, but this bald head sees the future. And I believe (laughs) Giselle and Tom get back together. And I was hoping the roast was the place where it happened. How great would it have been for her to walk out at the end before Tom talked, confess her love, say, I want you back. And then take shots at all the people that were taking shots at her all show long. I mean, that would have been fantastic. I didn't get it, but that's what I wanted.